Hey guys, it is Psychic Out here today. What is up? I just wanted to talk about meditation and just a little bit of tips and tricks. First thing I kind of wanted to just bring your awareness to was the benefits upon meditating. With me, I've struggled with anxiety as well as depression as well as probably some ADHD. And so meditation has helped me calm my mind and actually understand myself from a bigger point of view and help spiritually, spiritually help me a lot. Like it reduces stress, it improves your mood, it eases headaches, it eases anxiety, enhances your self-esteem, enhances creativity, improves your immune system, as well as increasing your energy level. It has been significantly proven that meditation has truly changed your brain and the way that it responds to situations. Meditation has been proven to help you understand and respond to situations differently because it helps you deal with daily stress problems that life can throw at us a little bit easier. It also can help you deal with pain. One little tip I wanna say before I even go on is like when I would meditate, I would get these like certain certain urges to like itch or like I would feel like some type, some, some type of like, you know, like my body trying to trick me into stop meditating. And so like ignore those itches ignore the itch learn to ignore those little itches because it's actually just your body trying to it's because like when you're quiet and unmoving so you can actually provide more of a trance state where you can be more relaxed during meditation as well as if you have your eyes open during meditation it helps ignore the itch and those types of things because they're just trying to trick you and you can actually train your body train yourself to be in control of your body as well to respond to those type of feelings like i don't know i think that's pretty cool some people do play different types of meditation music it doesn't truly really matter what you meditate to you can meditate in silence if you are outside somewhere and maybe you are listening to a river meditate to the sound of the river because you are connected to that water um, say you are just wanting to just be silent and meditate or you want to have your eyes open. That's okay. There's different types of things that you can use for sure. But there's different types of incenses and the benefits that it helps with meditation. So like if you are using some type of incense or spray or candle or essential oils while you are meditating, it actually has different types of benefits. So search up the different types of benefits of what different types of essential oils are used for meditation like if you need a little bit of confidence or determination to carry on with the meditation, cedar wood, cedar wood incense would be great for that because it would help you carry on and go deeper. Sandalwood helps calm the mind and will give you this type of inner peace while you're meditating. If you are using some type of lemon incense, it will help cleanse your thoughts as well as your body. And grapefruit can relieve any type of anger. Like just go and research them because there's so, so many that I could go over. There's you can definitely get books for that. I will definitely recommend some books down below that I have that helped me understand. But, but I did want to talk about lavender and rosebud just because those are very common ones that people do use. So if you are using lavender incense or any type of lavender or rosebud, lavender helps with soothing and calming you. It truly does. Lavender of any sort, if you are using it in any way during meditation will calm you and will calm your mind. I guarantee it that it's helped me so, so much and it helps and it, it is great. It, 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 it encourages healing and forgiveness as well as it can help you relax and get a good night's sleep before you are meditating. And Rosebud helps you combat grief, also encourages self-love and love around you during meditation so that might be good for like contacting your spirit guides or having that on when you're meditating with your partner like anything that looks good for you another another tip that i would suggest if you are meditating or if you are very new to meditating have some type of preparation and grounding before you even do the meditation because sometimes when you do different types of meditations they might actually make you feel ungrounded more because you might connect with your spirit guides and so you need to go into the process with understanding your chakras and opening up your chakras and grounding yourself and preparing yourself for even the 
the meditation. So already putting yourself in a good mindset and closing your eyes and breathing and understanding and getting in that state of mind and understanding your chakra colors and seeing them open up. Maybe you feel them open up. It's different for everybody. And so every preparation looks different. Like I do different types of meditation. So if I'm doing like a visual visualization meditation, I will probably lay down for that. So I'll probably just get like my preparation and my grounding will be like, you know, like sitting cross-legged on the ground, grounding myself to the universe or maybe going outside to take a breather and then probably lighting some incense and doing a meditation before bed for visualization. If I'm doing some type of meditation where I'm closing my eyes, same process. If I'm doing a meditation that involves opening my eyes, sometimes I like to do meditations in the bath. Sometimes I like to do meditations while I'm sitting down here. So it depends what type of meditation I'm doing, but I normally go with the flow and feel what's right for me, but I like to do a grounding process. So whatever type of grounding process that looks like for you, it doesn't really matter where you are. You can ground yourself outside in the grass. You can ground yourself by imagining it. Really any way is best for you. And if you feel like you need some type, some type of form of protection going into a meditation, um, I would suggest closing your eyes before you do your meditation. Just close your eyes and if you have incense, maybe just, you know, close your eyes and, you know, put it around you and imagine a white bubble around you and imagine it like a whole bubble like egg form and you're sitting in an egg and you're protected by this layer, this energetic field around you that some type of sunlight that is and surrounding you with light and imagining imagine and set the intention that this is protecting you say i have protection going into this meditation and if you haven't done any type of grounding exercises or grounding meditations sometimes i just close my eyes and i imagine roots coming out of the bottom of my feet and going into the ground pushing deep into the ground and taking any negativity away from them and grounding me and just because really like if this is not real then i can just totally put that through my feet and do that that's so real like you can visualize it and i am going to release an opening the chakras video for meditation so i'm going to do a meditation video on opening the chakras and then i'm going to do a meditation video on closing the chakras if you want to do that during meditation so you can open your chakras during meditation and then close your chakras after meditation. So then you feel as if they are just balanced and right. I am also going to share this with you guys because if you guys meditate with candles, I feel like this is going to help you understand what to use when you are meditating and i feel like it's something that you guys should definitely have if the candle starts to pop or make any type of other noises when you light it and you are in meditation this means that there is a spirit or your spirit guides are trying to contact you a flickering flame shows that the spirit world is connecting with you is with you and is listening that the spirits are working on your behalf However, if the candle is really weak or small, you need to be you need to concentrate more and really focus on this meditation. If there is a very strong flame when you are during your during your meditation or when you start your meditation, then that means that it's indicating that it's going to probably end quickly and you are going to feel very relaxed very quickly. And a trick a trick that I have is when your mind wanders into the past, gently tap your left leg. And when the mind water wanders, the future gently tap your right leg. And whenever a thought arises, you can always just send it into the memory bin and refocus on your breathing. Don't focus on what's going on in your mind. Focus on going. So I hope this video helped with some tips and some tricks on meditation and on, and on how to help you understand meditation and just some little tricks but i want you to know that you are the spectator and you are the observer of your thoughts you are not your thoughts you don't have to be them you don't have to agree with them you can choose to not be them so i hope you are having a good rest of your day night or evening and i hope this video helped i will be making a lot more content soon as well as some meditations for you guys to use 
for your yeah to open your chakras as well as meditations just in general i want to start doing some type of guided meditations so i'm going to start doing it on my youtube as well as my podcast so if you don't already know what my podcast is it is l uh, psychic l and you can find it on spotify as well as apple podcast as well as um anchor as well as other places so yeah i'll link it down in the description below